Hello everyone, my name is Gabriel. We're here with JetSurf USA and in today's video we're going to be showing you how to deflood and remove water from your engine. Now the procedure that this will happen is if you're riding water can either flow from your snorkel in the top of the board if you sink the front or if you're laying on the board for too long. Always remember uh, the boards are meant to be riding not to just kind of lay on them as water goes in through the back. Uh, your bilge pump does remove the water every 30 seconds, uh, but you always want to make sure that that water is out of the, the motor. Uh, in the case that you do flood the engine, water is going to go in either through your carburetor or through your throttle body. Uh, that will essentially stop and seize the engine and you won't be able to turn it on. In the case that this does happen, uh, and you try to connect your key and you try to turn it on and it's the third time or fourth time you have tried to turn it on and it doesn't work, always head back into the mainland, put your board on a stand, you're going to remove the engine cover, uh, you're going to most likely see uh, that the board was flooded. You remove the spark plug, so you can, you can refer back to our other instructional videos of how to remove the spark plug. Uh, you remove the spark plug. And then what you're going to use is you're going to use your key and your starter to safely remove that water out of there. So once you have that spark plug out of there, you don't want to connect your key onto your control handle. That's a big no-no. So what you want to do is you want to see your key in where the light is. Uh, so you put in the key for about intervals of four to five seconds uh, with about 15 to 20 seconds of rest in between. So you're going to follow this procedure for three or four times. This is essentially going to remove all the water from the engine. You could also put your board slanted on its side. This will help gravity push that water down. You'll do this procedure three, four times. Once you see there's no water coming out of the spark plug chamber out of the cylinder head, uh, you can replace the spark plug or clean your old spark plug, put it back on, and you'll be able to fire up and be able to ride out. Any questions, feel free to always call us at Jetsurf USA.